this is blender some like it gray some like it different but it's all the same blender blender is just one big screen inside the screen we got editors inside the editors we got regions and inside the regions we got panels and buttons screens are basically just a bunch of editors put together in order to ease the switch between different workflows blender comes with seven different screens but you can always make your own the default screens comes with five editors what you see here are five info outliner properties timeline and 3d window all five different editors you can always switch this editor by clicking on on the button that is on the left side of each heater There you will also find a little triangle icon at the corner that you can click drag up to split the window horizontally or click sideways and that will split it vertically. To join just do the opposite. You can always switch these editors from one side to the other by holding control and then clicking on the little triangle there in the corner. If you do it with shift you'll make a new window out of this editor. Regions are little subdivisions inside our editors. They are resizable and collapsible. Most of the editors have a really special region which is called the N panel sometimes or the properties panel some others also share the T panel, the toolbar. You will find this in the 3D view, for example, or in the image view on pretty much every editor in Blender. If you hit F5 with the mouse over any region, it will be flipped to the opposite side. Since Blender is all drawn in OpenGL, it's pretty, pretty flexible. We can have buttons everywhere, and we do have buttons everywhere. But to organize this better, we have it on panels, right? You can zoom in pretty much everywhere in Blender with Ctrl middle mouse button. You pan with middle mouse button. And let's see some examples of panels are collapsible. You can do it so by clicking on their header or just hitting A with the mouse over any part of this panel. You can arrange these panels by clicking on their top right corner and just drag. Some panels you will see they are grayed out, but you can still edit these values. Some values will be hidden by certain fun functions or radio buttons. Manipulating sliders is just as easy as click and drag, but you can always get your own value by clicking on the center and then writing. You can even do operations there. If you hold Ctrl, it will be moved by steps. If you hold Shift, it will be moved in really small values. You can change pretty much every value by holding Alt and then scrolling. It would work on every slider and if you do it on a color picker, it will change its brightness or its value actually. It also works on pull down menus. So the last widget is lists. They are pretty much self-explained. You can add and remove items. In some lists you can also arrange the items and you can adjust their size by holding shift and scrolling.